What is up players, you have now entered the playground. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. My name is MJ and today I'm reacting to I Wish I Never Met You by Damo Wilson. This is the lyric video. This video has been out for 10 days now. I think you guys requested it a week ago. I couldn't even find the comment to pop it in here. I do YouTube, but I'm seldom on here like actually watching all the time. And if I do, I don't catch all the drama alert stuff. But I was aware that Damo and Chrissy broke up. That I think is the last I'd heard of them too, was like watching that video of them. I remember thinking how amicable they were, but I'm gonna save that. This is not the channel for that. That's all I knew of them. So when I saw this title, I was like, this could be actually something really bad or she could be telling someone else's story. Either way it goes, I wanted to take my time to actually do a little bit of research first. So I did go to her channel. I got a nice little update now. I think I'm, I think I'm all caught up. See, I'm very careful about things like this because there's two types of drama in my opinion. There's drama for clout and then there's drama you can learn from. And after doing my due diligence, I have found that this is drama that I can learn from. So after I do this reaction, I'm gonna hop over on my main channel and I'm gonna discuss a very important lesson that I think I took from this entire thing. I have not heard the song yet though so if you guys are ready for the reaction and you're kind of ready for me to shut up give me a thumbs up and let's press play i'm kind of nervous because i feel like she's about to go in omg why do bitches lie so much first line okay let me just let me move this speaker closer to me because we're gonna this is about to be intense Damo, please don't just be easy okay really trying to figure that shit out now i still can't figure it out why fucking lie? Mm. Oh my god. She said she was angry when she made this song and I believe her. Should I love you where I met you, bitch, you fucked up. You hit the jackpot when me, bitch, you fucked up. Well, I don't think any of us can argue that. I think a lot of us were thinking that. I'ma save it. I'm gonna save my commentary for the actual video. This is a reaction video. I have to keep reminding myself. I don't need to give y'all all my thoughts. But you want another bitch has got me fucked up. But you got me over here screaming fuck love. Yeah, she's super jaded now, Dumbo, aren't you? I don't like that, but I know that time heals all, or at least most of it, and I know that in time she'll be better. Damo, you took it there. And so, was this girl always in the picture, or is she just kind of, you know? Damn, bitch, you just fucked up bad. So you bring it to my phone when you see what you had. And I'm a blood skin delete and say, oops, my bad. And when she fucking breaks your heart, I hope you cry, you sad. Oh, y'all know what? This sounds bitter AF, but it's relatable too. Like, who hasn't been this angry? She uses you for money, hope she sucks you dry. Well, she probably will. You won't understand why. I hope she texts another bitches while you laying at night. I hope you crying every day while she playing your life. I was blind. Everybody told me what it was, but I ain't fucking listen because I thought I was in love. Oh my god. I met you, bitch. You fucking kill my buzz. You ain't have a fucking reason. You play me because you could. I was. Damo. This is raw emotion. Raw. Blind. Everybody told me what it was, but I ain't fucking listen because I thought I was in love. I thought. I wish I never met you, bitch. You fucking kill my budge. You ain't have a fucking reason. You play me because you could, you fucking bitch. Y'all ain't talk your shit. Said I ain't doing things for you, girl. You soft as shit. She didn't say that. Did Chrissy really say Dama didn't do anything for her? I told you I was going to try to keep my commentary low on this video, but it literally makes my blood boil, the situation itself. And I feel like I've remained neutral through all of it because in general with YouTube, you really have to tread lightly because as she said in her most recent video, you don't know what what's really going on. And there's sides to every story. Um, however, so so I've tried, tried to stay neutral, but it makes my blood boil from outside looking in and to have a perspective of what I thought was going on and to have it clarified now is really like, I, I'm, I'm upset because as much as I've probably only watched Demo like six times in my entire life, I kid you not, like six times I've ever been to a channel, she is so relatable and I just feel like she was like my best friend in my past life. Like that's how she is. So like I'm taking this very offensive. I don't even think best friend, she was more like a sister. Stop fucking walk around, bougie, like you got the shit. I fucking gave you what you got, bitch, you want the shit. Switch it up when you got your own girl and me alone. Say you grown, playing on my phone, don't end up alone. Ooh. Every time that I come over, you be trying to fuck. Mm. But you got a girlfriend, bitch, you, you wild as... I don't trust you. Look at what you 
doing to your girl? You showing her off for trying to lick my pearl. Oh my God. You putting it all out there. Yes. Uh, and you know what's so funny? This entire time, she had been trying to be respectful towards Chrissy. That's what's so crazy. I think she really, in my opinion, she had the utmost respect for that girl. And that is what love will do to you. Like, even in the midst of everything they have done, you'll still have, you know, like, it'll, you'll still want for that person to be looked at, like, in, in good light. And, like, I think, I, I feel like she should have just kept them out yet. She shouldn't have been pretending for the net, but for the grind, for the whoever she was doing it for. And now, oh well. Fucking decline, you claim that she's your world And how you never ever felt this with no other girl, bitch I'm fucking tired of you, ho I really wanted to be proud of you, ho They see your colors cause your attitude, ho You never show no fucking gratitude Oh, she said you were entitled, Chrissy Entitled Okay Fake shit, girl, you ain't shit You don't make shit, I'm patient Cause karma coming for you when I wait And you baking, you smoking down, girl Like then you changing your face It's like what you want, girl, you wreck the base If you waste it from every Friday to every Monday You taint it, hoping you change, girl Like maybe someday he Girl, Damo It's weird because she talked about all this I literally sat there and I watched that one hour long video, y'all I did. That's why I said, when I say I have a lot to say, it's really taking me a lot. I'm restraining myself because this is not the channel for that. Cause what we had, girl, it wasn't nothing. You said I was so easy to get up, but bitch, you front how blind. Everybody told me what it was, but I ain't fucking listen because I thought I was in love. I okay. Was okay. This is, this is the hook. I have a fucking reason you play me because you could. I was blind. Everybody told me what it was, but I ain't fucking listen because I thought I was in love. I wish I never met you, bitch. You fucking kill my bud. You ain't have a fucking reason you play me because you could. You say I'm big. Can I just say what I love the most about her? And I think. The same goes for the like the last time I heard her music, which is crazy because at that time I think she was getting over a breakup as well. So it's like all come like full circle. It's crazy. Um, of course, she's much older now, much wiser. She's a mom now. Congratulations. I know I'm a little late to say that, but that's not the point. I love the most about her rap. It's not just because the lyrics are re relatable, but it's like, again, you can tell it is not um, watered down. It's not washed up because she's literally, it's raw emotions and she's talking Almost like if Chrissy was standing in front of her and she just like pouring her heart out. That's what I love about this. It's just, it's so down to earth and it just feels like we're sitting here and she's talking to her. Somebody come get this weird ass bitch for some gear, bitch. I, I need to go back. I can't. I just. For some, I'm confused. Okay. Bitch for some gear, bitch. You said you nothing, uh uh, I feel like I'm missing the point. What did I miss? You say you, I'm weird. Okay, let's go back to here. You play me because you could. You say I'm weird. Yes. Somebody come get this weird ass bitch for some years. <laughs> bitch, fuck. Okay, so she skipped that entire last two lines. I knew I wasn't crazy. Okay. All right, so probably the lyric video was made prior to, I don't know, but all I know is there was two lines that, I, that weren't matching up. Okay. You said you felt nothing, bitch. You ain't shit, bitch. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. To your future if you have one, you really... To your future if you have... Damo. Damo. Why? Why do you have to do this, dude? Okay. The mad one. Texting me, you hate me, and your new girl is amazing, and you gonna have a baby, and she moving in this crazy... What? Okay, are we serious right now? She's gonna have a baby when the baby is really what showed her true colors to begin with. I'm gonna save it, y'all. I'm just, I have to save it. I have so much to say, but I have to save it because otherwise this video literally will be an hour long, 30 minutes minimum. Back where her a week later, that's foul, but I'm not gonna do shit cause karma coming around. Don't. Why I'm catching flights and booking shit, you coming around. Yeah. I'm happy, but you treat me like a bum on the ground. Yeah. That you would never do you two with another. First of all. First of all, first things, you keep catching your flights, Demo. You let her keep catching feelings. Um, you said you never do YouTube with another. Um, she also said a lot of things, Demo, that weren't true. Okay? That's what liars do. Hmm. Been acting fucking shady ever since you got a lover and you claiming that you love her and you putting her out. Don't be surprised when she leave you when she get all the clout. I was blind. Everybody told me what it was, but I ain't even <sighs> listen because I thought I was in love. 
cause I thought I was in love. I wish I Yo. knew that you, bitch, you fucking kill my bud. You ain't have a fucking reason. You play me because you could. Everybody told me what it was, but I ain't never listen cause I thought I was in love. I wish I never met you, bitch, you fucking kill my bud. You ain't have a fucking reason. You play me because you kill you fucking bitch. Never again will I ever lose myself in no relationship. If you can't commit, if you don't like me how I am, then bitch, fuck you. Ooh. Don't find somebody on your level. Yeah, pretty much. And I'll find somebody online. Mine. Oh! That's real, man. Oh my God. Like, I feel like everybody's been there. Everybody has that person that makes you not only wish that you never met them, but you'd be literally embarrassed. I don't know if that makes sense. You'd be embarrassed of who you were, like who you were when you were with them, if that makes any sense, you know? And I watched her video, she's owning it. But can I just, I wanna, I wanna emphasize on that line, you had no reason, you just played me because you could. And I tell people all the time, that's what a narcissist does. Based on what I, what I know so far, I find Chrissy to be a narcissist. And I'm gonna talk about that on the video. As I told you guys, I have another channel. That's where all my commentary is. That's where all my, um, my deep self-reflective stuff is so if you guys want to check me out i'm at youtube.com backslash m3rry shameless plug um but that's what narcissists do people always ask all the time well why would this person do that don't sign up for this class i'm asking y'all but if you're going through a breakup right now or you're wondering why people are doing what they're doing just don't sign up for that class okay because people do it because they can and they only can when you allow them, if that makes sense. So that's why they say the most dangerous person that, you know, that's around you usually is your lover because they have access to your heart in the way that the average random person doesn't. So, I, you know, falling in love, being with someone, committing to someone is about trusting them enough not to um, misuse that um, power that they have so to speak anyway oh we y'all well this is a good start yeah i'm so glad that you guys requested this one yeah so i'm so glad y'all requested this one i definitely enjoyed it i did go on her twitter and she said she might be releasing her music video for the song today because she got the like um the last final thing from the producer editor whoever and um if she ha doesn't have any edits to make then we will get it today so if you guys Get the no notification before me or whatever please spam the comment section and let me know the video is up i would love to watch the music video i'm gonna get up the camera now if you guys enjoyed this video definitely give me a thumbs up don't forget to comment below other videos that you'd like for me to react to if you're not a part of our family definitely subscribe we'd love to have you right until the fun of the playground i'll see you guys mañana bye